Good morning guys. So it is Friday and it is the first time that I have a Friday with no children and a Friday with nothing to do. So on last Friday, um, I didn't necessarily have children with me all day, but I was prepping for family to come into town. And so I was cleaning all day, grocery shopping, getting everything we needed because it was Juneteenth weekend. So we had a bunch of family come and they all stayed at my house. So I had a lot of prep to do, but today I have nothing to do. And not nothing to do like there's nothing at all in my life that needs done, but nothing to do like no obligations. I literally can move and go how I feel like today and it feels a little surreal. So I've already started on my hair. I'll show you some of the products. Um, I've sat and I've had coffee. I've kind of scheduled out my life. I've done my budget. Like I was on it. Um, the only thing I haven't really done is clean up some more. And I have been cleaning through the week from like right when family left because my first day with my house free from anyone was Tuesday. And I still work in the summer, so I work Monday through Thursday, so Fridays I have off. So I'm about to finish my hair and actually head out. I'm going to meet my mom. What time is it? Yeah, I'm going to meet my mom here in a few minutes at um, this place called Deep Dive that she loves to go to every Friday. So I'm going to join her. I have a lot of errands to run. Uh, it's, a, it's a very, very, like, chill, easy day. I got my little lounge outfit on. It is very, very hot in Texas right now, so I'm probably not going to be outside at 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 all today past 12 o'clock so yeah i'm gonna see how much i can get done without my child so daycare closes at six i do not leave him until six um unless like i have a lot to do and the latest i leave him is like 5 45 but he went to daycare kind of late today since my mom and i don't work on fridays so i might leave him until like 5 30 today and see how much i can get done but i'm talking Whatever I need to do for me, it's getting done today. And yo, look at this cute little cup. So this part says, I love that you're my mom. And it has this like cute little like handle area. And the back says, you have filled my heart with great joy. Psalms 4, 7. This was, um, come back to me. This was actually one of my gifts from Cole for Mother's Day, of course, via my mother, but it was one of his gifts for Mother's Day. But yeah, I'm about to go take care of this hair. So I did want to say my hair has been doing so much better now that I've gotten back into a routine of taking care of it, but it has so many split ends. Like I need to cut, I say at least three inches off, and I think my mom maybe cut an inch for me. I straightened it and let her cut it, and I was like, cut some more, and she was like, no, go see a professional. So... I might go see my friend in Dallas and let her, you know, take care of this hair. But for now, it's got at least a good little inch off. So we're heading in the right direction. Okay, so I'm using my Bond Bar products this morning. I used the number zero, this is the bonding primer, and I've already done number three which is the bonding pre-shampoo. I'm about to do the bonding shampoo and then the mask, and I'm gonna leave the mask on and head out. It says that you're only supposed to leave it on for 10 minutes, um, but it says a minimum. <laughs> so I might do like a maximum of two hours. So. Since that's a hydration mask, I wanna go in with the Melanin Plumping Deep Conditioner. I've tried this once and I really liked it, and it's silkening and strengthening, and since I just straightened my hair, I want to go in after with this. So yeah, the Bond Bar I've actually used. This is like my fourth time using it, third or fourth time using it. Um, I don't notice a difference, not like the claims it has, but I like the system. So yeah, that's where we're at.
treat my yard. Um. <music> much much later in the day and I said I was not gonna run around in this heat all day and I have been doing just that but when you get with my mom the kind of person she is is she's gonna get everything done as soon as she can and so that just means continue to run so we actually ran all our errands my last one is AutoZone before I get little man and that is because I need to change my air filter and it's cheaper just to do it on my own than to let the um, dealership do it. So I'm about to run into AutoZone and see if they have the filter I need. And then I'm going home and getting out of this heat because it's like 110 degrees and I just, I can't. Oh, you going outside? Yeah. Go. It's hot up there. I think it's right here. Yes, that's what the video said. The filter I picked up that I looked up was the correct one. And then when I went to the guy to verify, the guy that should know, um, he told me that I had the wrong one. When I got home, that one was the wrong one. And it looks like it's about to rain. Um, so I just parked my car. All right, we're gonna try this again because I got the correct filter now. So I just have to unclip these. I hope you all can see me okay I'm using my phone but we are at my mom's training she's actually doing so good um, but I was here to help her set it up and just make sure everything's running smoothly but I also have my child so I'm entertaining him outside right now and then as soon as we're done here we have to head out so last night we <laughs> went on an adventure for an air filter and then it started storming um, and we got to bed pretty late so I didn't really do much for myself so you see my hair is like not done how I wanted it but it is okay because the style actually is pretty cute and easy and I really like it kind of low maintenance so I might start doing my hair more like this only problem is I feel like it makes me look like 10 years younger than I am so it's not a bad thing it's just people already think I'm like 20 and so I don't want to look any younger than 20. <laughs> what are you doing silly? You gonna hurt your hands on those. It's gonna be owies. Yeah. Oh, owies. Yeah. What are you doing? Hey guys, so it's Sunday. I am getting gas. So if you hear a lot of noise, I'm at the gas station. It is extremely hot today. Um, I just have like on this little flowy dress from Shein and I still feel like I'm so overdressed. It's like 108 degrees outside right now. I had to go to Sam's and get some groceries for the week. And normal people would say, wait till it's not so hot in the day, right? But it stays this, this temperature until like eight o'clock at night. And we didn't get into like one or two in the morning from going on a trip with the church. So I didn't have time yesterday. And yes, yeah, so I'm getting gas, getting groceries, but then we're picking up food because it's extremely too hot to cook. Um, and then we are heading home and I just did a share that I'm gonna post before this. Um, kind of talk about advocating and foster care and the importance. If you haven't um, seen my past few vlogs, I did take in a new placement and I hadn't talked about her much in this vlog and that is because 
um, they did move her to a new foster family. I kind of told them that, you know, she has a lot of different things that she needs, a lot of needs that were unaddressed, unnoticed. I don't know if people just did not know. Um, but as a teacher, a special education and deaf education teacher, I noticed a lot of things and the situations that would arise, different things that would happen. I told her workers, you know, she needs two adults in the home, no other kids, um, you know, and I ran down all the things she needed, everything I thought would help, it would work. Um, but I told them that if this was a situation at work, I would be told by an administrator or whoever's in charge that I need to have two people at all times with this child. And I could not do that. I could not guarantee that there was always going to be another adult with me or assistance or help in the way that I needed. So um, we all got together as a team, as a unit, um, and, you know, tried to figure out other things. And we wanted her with family. So this is just like a PSA to families. Like if you ever, God forbid, come into a situation where your child goes into foster care, please, 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 do not hold back on giving names of family, whether it's mom, whether it's like the grandparents, aunt, uncle, distant cousin, friends of the family, please give their names immediately because your child is gonna go to a home that's available before they go to this family because your family is gonna have to do background checks and um, all this stuff in order for the child to come stay with them and the process gets held up when you withhold the name. So that's kind of where we were, you know, we wanted mom to give us some family so that this child was, you know, more comfortable because she was with strangers and um, that takes time. And so, you know, she in the, in the meantime, she's being moved around within the system, which is not fair to her. So um, yeah, we gave our number to the new foster family um, so that she could come visit or we could do play dates or if they needed any advice or assistance with anything. Um, and, you know, just to keep tabs on her, make sure she's doing okay. She did start calling my son her brother. I don't know where that came from um, because we didn't refer to them as foster siblings whatsoever. Um, and so I know they built a connection and I didn't want to just sever ties with that. But I also wanted to make sure she got what she needed. Sometimes you have to admit when you are not a right fit for the child or when you don't have what that child needs and put them with a better family. So in this case, we were not the better family. Um, and our home is not closed. Uh, we're just kind of in transition, taking a break, so to say. Um, and I guess I'm being forced to have the summer of taking care of myself <laughs> that I didn't know I was gonna have. So yeah, we get done with this gas and go get my food. So it is Wednesday. I'm just doing some cleaning and organizing of my home. I wanted to completely clean my house top to bottom um, before we go out of town this weekend so that when I come back I can start going room by room and decluttering taking things out I've kind of been doing it as I've been going but in my mind like I cannot do that until everything is just clean and everything is put away where it's supposed to go so that means I need to put away the stuff that I got from deep dive and so I wanted to show you all some of the stuff I got before I put it away deep dive is that most of the stuff come in boxes and you can't see what it is or you can see what it is but you're not sure if it works so i would suggest getting the things that you think you might want even if you don't know what it is taking it to the unboxing stations and opening it up um they will open it you're not allowed to open their stuff and they have plugs and batteries and stuff to see if everything works we've gotten a lot of great stuff from there so definitely check it before you buy it um everything here i opened or i left them open and i checked so one of the things i got was this spin mop attachment it is a dual spin mop head and it is for the dyson so it just attaches to your dyson that you already have which is really neat because i have a dyson so it's actually going to be um something that i'm going to enjoy using i really like cleaning when i have tools to make cleaning easy um so yeah and um this i got this for 11 so everything was 11 dollars that day all this stuff can be found on amazon um and it's actually stuff that i was looking at so this was in my amazon cart this is a um, 360 swivel mop. I saw them using this at the nail salon and it's so lightweight. And I wanted something to make scrubbing my tub and my shower easier because reaching up really high on those tile walls and stuff is really hard for me. I'm kind of short. 
so I wanted something and it was actually in my Amazon cart I think for like 40 or 50 dollars and so I got it for 11 and it was the exact color I wanted too so it was perfect my mom got one as well then I got this Y60 selfie stick and tripod I had wanted one for my phone just because I use my phone a lot for different things and so I thought this would be really neat because I plan on doing a lot of traveling with my son and I want to capture all our moments so this will be really neat to use for my phone. My mom got this. This is a weighted hula hoop. My mom actually went back on the day where everything, the prices go down each day. And so this day everything was $4. So she got this for $4. And I guess we're going to try it out. I don't know. Um, next I got this. I got this for our important documents. It has like a little three code lock on it and i just want to put like our passports our birth certificates all our important documents in here um because you know those are something that you really want it's not fireproof i wish it was fireproof but i can at least lock it and put it somewhere and keep it secure so i went ahead and got this this is probably the most random purchase out of that store but i got these honest pull-ups and there are so many in this package and i got them because pull-ups are really expensive my son is potty training um and i like these at night too because he can't rip them off he rips his diapers off at night um and so yeah i was like this is a steal i'm gonna grab um this is the clear shoe boxes it's hard to see on here but i will insert a picture i actually got another set already and so when i went back they had more because i kind of want to redo how my shoes are in my closet just to make more space and then i'm also going to put what's in my closet probably in my son's closet to organize his shoes so yeah I got another one of these and there are 12 in this and they're the stackable ones I was actually gonna buy these and then when we went a few weeks back I saw them and I was like ooh and the lady said we get them all the time so I was like I'm not gonna purchase them online I'll just wait and get them here so that is my deep dive haul um, and then I ordered a couple of things from Amazon so I got me another thing of the um, blueberry bliss hair growth vitamin I used up the whole other bottle um, and it lasts me like a month and a half, almost two months I think. So I had to re-up on this. This is probably not something I needed but I'm all about organizing right now in my free time and like eliminating and minimizing in all spaces of my home. Cute little organizer for all like my little Ziploc bags because right now everything's just thrown up in the cabinet and the boxes fall when you grab one. So I thought this was really cute to just organize everything nicely and you can like lay it in a drawer or if you don't want to designate a drawer you can kind of lay it on a lower shelf in the pantry I figured so got that it feels so good to be eliminating these boxes because they have like piled up and have just been sitting in a corner and I am over it and ready for everything to get cleaned up and then last but not least I have my Shein stuff so I did a big Shein order and I don't think it all came in I just got an email that the rest of it is coming in but I wanted to go ahead and go through these and make sure I liked everything so I can wash it because some of it was for our trip um, and then some of it is to replace things that I've already started throwing away so like new pajamas and things like that so this is a cute little outfit I got for Cole and it says mama's boy because he is definitely a mama's boy I just thought it was a cute little outfit I didn't get him too many things from Shein I typically buy him an outfit or two every now and then because the sizes are a bit weird for kiddos and I'm never sure if he could fit it and he's in a weird stage of where like on tops we're getting him 24 months but bottoms he's still 18 because he's so tiny and short so this is the 18 to 24 month one and I think the size on there is like 38 it's a weird size but anyways I just got him this little set and I actually wanted him to wear it this weekend so I'm gonna go ahead and wash that and if I can find the links for the stuff on Shein I'll link it as well and no I do not get commission from Shein I've actually been buying from Shein for years and years and years before it even became popular and I was like real skeptical because I couldn't find a lot of videos to tell me if the products are good or not so I was like you know what? it's cheap enough I'm gonna just try it um, so then I just got this little nightgown, lots of these little nightgowns, and it has this little frilly part at the bottom. They're really like good material, nice and thick, like really good deals on a lot of this stuff. Then I just got this um, oversized t-shirt that says Holiday Beach. I love oversized shirts, and sometimes I get them even bigger because the stuff shrinks, so yeah. 
Now this one looks really oversized and I saw that it was so I might have to tie it. But it's just another fun tee. I think these are all like three or four dollars but it says it's fine, I'm fine, everything's fine and I just thought that was really funny because that's what we say at work all the time. This little pajama set. This is just a um, like kind of like a onesie jumper type of outfit and it is pants. And this is just another pajama set. I actually really like this. Oh, I like these. Yeah, so another pajama set. And I have so much in here because I literally add to my cart every time I get on the Shein app and then I just wait and order it all at the end. And then I saw this cute little outfit that says future. I thought it was really cute. I love dressing him in black because he is a boy and he does like to get dirty and messy. These shorts, I really hope these fit. The sizing sometimes on Shein can be really weird. Oh, they fit. I literally just put them over some shorts I already had on. Stand on the stool so y'all can see. What? Oh, I really like these. So I'm gonna wash these so I can wear them out of town this weekend. The legs are actually do not look at them just some more pajamas I'm getting a lot of pajamas because I'm about to throw away and replace some pajamas that I've had for years that like faded and need to go one just says melanin and then it has some other words on here that was kind of cute I might pair this with the black shorts this was just a little two-piece outfit set like shorts and a stretchy top um, more like a lounge around the house I have a couple of sets like this from Shein that I really like. They're so comfortable. And then I got some shoes. I was really curious to try these shoes. I kept seeing them. And I just pray they're comfy. They're not like the cutest, but I just want them to be comfy with all this traveling we're doing. So I got these. I hope they fit. Ooh, they fit. And then I got these. I could not resist this color. And one more pair of sandals, but these look like they might be too small. I might have to give these away. They actually barely fit. So these are 39, so I probably should have got a 40, but that is good to know. Yeah, because these are 41 and these fit better. That is all my Shein stuff, y'all. Finished putting all this stuff away and cleaning up my house because... We have got to get this house in order so that we can get out of town. But if you've never tried Shein, just give it a try. The thing is, you can't go wrong because you can always send it back. So, you never know what you'll find. Hi, let's go. Yeah, sunny day, sunny day.